For this part, we're going to head over to the Google Optimize homepage. In this tutorial, I'm not going to go over how to set up Google Optimize in that much detail. For that, you can actually check out the Google Optimize playlist on this channel, which I'll link in the description below, and you'll see a link to it at the end of this video. Uh, so definitely check that out afterwards. But with that aside, let's get started on creating a mock A-B test in Google Optimize. Uh, so we'll be creating a new account. And inside that account, we'll create a container, which we can name after the Shopify site. You can actually name it whatever you want, but I find that it's much cleaner to name your containers after your site's domain. Uh, and once you click create, that's going to generate a new account with a single container in it. And we'll be redirected to the experiences page, but let's just go back for a second. So in this account that we created, we'll see the container ID. And that's exactly what we need to install Google Optimize on Shopify. But we're not going to copy it just yet because Optimize actually gives us a code snippet we can easily copy paste in just a bit. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the container. And in this container, we're going to go and set up an experience. So again, if whatever I'm saying is going, going over your head, watch the Google Optimize playlist on this channel. Uh, but for now, let's just keep going forward. So let's create our first test experience. We can name it whatever we want, such as A-B test, and we're going to input the URL where you'll be testing your copy. In your case, it might be a product page or your shop's homepage. I'm just going to go with the homepage of the sample site. So we press create and we'll be taken to the experience setup page. And we're going to go down here and look up Google Analytics with Optimize. And once we link it to the appropriate analytics account, which is tied to your Shopify account, we're going to get this nice highlighted piece of code. Now we can highlight the red code and copy paste that into the global site tag we just pasted in Shopify's preferences earlier. Just like in the example Google Optimize gave you, you're gonna paste that little line of red code to the right of the tracking ID and to the left of the right parenthesis, just like so. That's pretty much it for installing Google Optimize. It's nothing complicated at all. You just place the code where Optimize tells you and we can hit save. You can see that analytics is set up correctly because after we hit save, we see the same tracking ID that's on the analytics site so we're all set up. So if I had a paid Shopify account here, I'd be able to verify that Optimize was installed correctly. In the three-part Google Optimize series I'll be linking after this video, I'll show you what a successful install looks like with my own personal site. So thanks a lot guys for joining me in this series. I had a lot of fun making it and it's definitely something I had questions about earlier in my career. So I'm really glad to make this video for you guys. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. And again, hit subscribe. And if you want to learn more about Google Optimize, how to set it up, what it is, everything, check out the really short, really interesting series that's coming right up and that's linked in the description below. Again, thanks a lot guys, till next time.